how to stay stylish in false spring. Spring 2024 is here. The sun is going to be shining. Warmer weather is right around the corner. Does that mean that we're gonna be able to put away our winter jackets, flannels, and boots? It's just gonna be warmer and warmer and warmer? Well, not so fast. Spring temperatures, especially early spring, or what I like to call false spring, they can range from low 30s to even below 30, and all the way up to the high 60s, even 70 degrees. It also tends to rain a lot in the spring season. So today's video is all about helping you stay stylish, warm, comfortable, and dry, and also feeling amazing as well in this transitional false spring season. You're gonna love this video. Welcome to Essential Style. So let's start from the ground up, literally the ground. Shoes. Now boots are still going to be appropriate for this season, especially since it tends to rain a lot, like I was just saying. I can always recommend something like the Thursday Captain in this Whiskey Brown with this Storm King lugged rubber outsole. These things are super comfortable. They're also super waterproof. Well, water resistant, not actually waterproof, but they get the job done if you're out in the rain. What you are gonna wanna be careful with is a boot like this. This is the original Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill with the Chrome XL leather. For me personally with this boot, my feet tend to get very hot very quickly. So this boot only works in the cold winter. Once it starts to get away from the winter and in that early spring, like we currently are right now, time of filming this video, I tend to not wear these a lot. So if you got a pair of boots that are very warm, very insulated, maybe you got some fuzzy linings right here on the inside, it's time to put those boots away and save them for fall and winter. Now this is also the appropriate season to start breaking out the more casual shoes, such as if you got shoes like some casual brown leather shoes, like the Cole Haan Original Grand Wingtip and this one with the lighter colored sole, or the Original Grand with the darker colored sole, this is my pick for the casual leather walking shoe. It matches with everything. These are gonna be a great option if you're gonna be walking a very long time or if you're gonna be standing for a long time. And these are also gonna be pretty decent in the rain as well. I've never had my feet soaked and I've worn these in pretty harsh rain before. Dress shoes are gonna be another great option if you do want something a bit more dressy, but it's a little bit too hot or it's a little bit too warm to wear those boots in this season. Something like the Allen Edmonds McAllister wingtip is a great option. If you're going to work, you're headed into the office for an important business meeting and you definitely want to take your look to the next level. Now another very popular dress shoe is going to be the Allen Edmonds Strand in this color walnut. This one's going to be a great option especially if you polish them and keep them a nice color like I have right here. Super stylish, super easy to dress up. The only thing you're going to have to be careful about if you do have dress shoes with that leather sole, you're definitely going to want to be checking the forecast and making sure that there's no chance of rain because when it rains and leather soles get wet, you're going to start to wear that leather sole out at a very accelerated rate. Not gonna be a very good thing to do. And you shouldn't be trying to wear shoes this nice in the rain anyway. Now you could also opt for something a bit more casual like the Beckett Simonon Kent wingtip that I'm currently wearing right now. These are gonna be a great option since they're going to be a lot more casual than those dressy Oxfords from Allen Edmonds, but they are going to be a step up from the Cole Haan Original Grands. This is the Cole Haan Original Grand, and this is the Beckett Simonon. So you could see the Cole Haan just looks like that weird, the Cole, this is a hybrid shoe. This is definitely a hybrid shoe. This is a more a heeled, more dressy type shoe. Still got a pretty chunky sole, so I wouldn't really call it a true dress shoe, but this one's going to be very easy to wear with jeans to dress it down, but you could still wear it with a more casual suit. But this is a great casual option, and this is going to take your look literally to the next level. Now you could also go super casual as well with a pair of shoes like these, the classic Vans old school, just in the black and white colorway, my favorite sneakers. If you are going to be walking long distances and you want something that's super comfortable, I could always recommend the Adidas Ultra Boost. I have it right here in the black and white colorway. This for a running shoe, it's super sleek, it's super sophisticated, it's not big and bulky, it's a bit pricey for what it is. However, it is worth it because your feet won't be hurting at all. Now one note on the color of shoes, the all black shoes like these, these are gonna be a little bit easier to wear if it's raining or if you're in an unexpected downpour than something like this. As you could see, these did get dirty right over here. So while these can be a bit more stylish and add more character to your outfit, the all black ones are gonna be a little bit easier and a little bit more maintenance free if you're gonna be wearing them in adverse weather conditions. And the same thing goes for the Cole Hans that I showed you before. The Dark Soul one is going to be easier to not only dress up, but if you're wearing them in the rain, if you step in mud, it's not going to get as dirty since it's dark down there. Whereas the lighter colored ones, you could see I do have some shoe polish I have to wipe off over there. So still stylish, but just something to keep in mind if you're gonna be wearing them and it's gonna rain, I would pick the darker colored ones. 
Socks. No need for your merino wool or heavyweight wool socks, skiing socks, snowboarding socks. Save those for next fall, next winter. Cotton athletic socks are going to be your best option here. My favorite color is charcoal gray. These are from Bombas. You can see that the color gray matches nicely with my brown casual shoes and my dark wash jeans. No issues here. You could also go with navy as well. Navy is going to be a great option. I tend to like gray though because gray does not fade. Don't try to dress up white socks at all. White socks belong in the gym only. Only. I would recommend staying away from black socks just because only after a few washes they are going to start to fade. Whereas with something like the charcoal gray socks, these are not going to be fading as much or if any at all. Next, we're going to talk about pants. Wait, wait, wait. Don't take your shorts out yet. It's not summertime yet. Dark wash jeans are going to work perfectly for this season since it's not going to get too hot just yet. Dark wash jeans are a closet staple for everyone. They're super easy to dress up and dress down. Everyone looks great in them. I can always recommend the dark hollow color in the Levi's 511. Again, link below if you want to check them out on Amazon. So check them out, Levi's 511s, the best jeans in the market at this point. Now this is also a great season to start breaking out some of your khaki colored chinos like this one this is more of almost a lighter brown or you can go with something a bit brighter like this i wouldn't go any brighter than this i'd always tend to stick on the darker side of the khaki color but something like this is going to be great you're going to be able to dress it up dress it down and it's really up to you if you want to go with something like this which is the levi's 511 five pocket khaki chino type advantage of these are these are going to be a little bit more breathable a little bit cooler than jeans if it's one of those warmer fall spring days but the disadvantage is you're not going to be able to dress these up as much whereas something like these since these are a more dressy silhouette these are just the four pocket they've got the slant pockets on the side they've just got the slit pockets right there i guess you call it on the back these are going to be a lot more versatile as far as formality goes, and these are going to be just as comfortable as the ones I was just showing you, but you're going to be able to dress these up a lot more if you're in a business casual environment in the office. Now, you could also go with other options as well, like gray, olive, or navy blue. Now, these colors are definitely going to be good if you want to expand your selection of pants. For me, I lean a bit more on the minimal side of things. I'm going with either dark wash denim, and if I want something brighter than that, I'm going to go with my khaki chinos. There's no in-between for me. I try to keep things very simple. That way everything matches. I don't have to think about not having something to wear. Shirts. Your Oxford cloth button-down shirts are still going to work. These are going to be very appropriate for the season since they are more insulating and a little bit warmer than a dress shirt, but they are not going to be as hot or as warm as something like a flannel shirt. Now, speaking of flannel shirts, flannels still are going to work in this fall spring season since it's a bit cooler and we're not yet into the mid or late spring or the real spring. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna wear these on those super warm days just because there's not a whole lot that you can do in order to cool yourself down there, quite a bit more insulating than the Oxford that I just showed you. So flannel shirts, you can still wear them. Just keep in mind, you're probably going to be wearing them the way that I'm wearing them here with the sleeves rolled up more often than the sleeves rolled down. Now, as it continues to get warmer as this season goes on, polo shirts are going to be great, especially if you've got some awesome polo shirts like this one from Collars & Co. You're going to be able to dress this one up and down, as I always say. Or there are also some more casual, comfortable options like the Under Armour polos that I've showed you on this channel before. Now, a great thing about polo shirts, as you can see right here, is you are going to be able to wear your V-neck sweaters, your lightweight sweaters over the polo shirt, which means these are going to keep you just as warm as that flannel or Oxford shirt that I showed you before. But if it does get too hot, just take that sweater off, stuff it in a bag, stuff it in the backseat of your car. And now you look good either when you're just wearing the polo shirt on its own or whether you're wearing that thin V-neck sweater over it. Next up, jackets. Now, since fall spring is really early spring where we still have those colder months, we're still absolutely going to need jackets, but there are a couple of jackets we should be avoiding. First jacket that you should be avoiding are leather jackets. In my opinion, the leather jacket is going to be very, very expensive. It's not going to be that warm, as warm as some other cheaper options, and you can't wear it in the rain. Spring is a season in its entirety is going to be a very rainy season, so your leather jacket is not going to do well at all in the rain. Also, most leather jackets are not going Going to be as well if it gets a little bit colder at night if we have a super cold day which we've been having in the past couple of weeks here in new york city now one exception to this would be a flight jacket or a bomber jacket but that's almost too warm it's going to be a bit harder to wear if the weather takes a turn and gets super mild one day because that's just the way it goes in spring especially early
early spring. Well, pea coats are a great winter option. They're super stylish, they're super dressy, and especially if you want to dress up a wool coat, pea coats are great. The problem you're going to experience wearing a pea coat is if it gets too hot, you're going to want to go ahead and open that jacket. You really can't wear it open. Look at how much extra fabric this is right here. There's not a whole lot that you can actually do. It's going to make you appear larger and heavier than you actually are, and it's just going to be way too big and oversized for you. So pea coats were definitely designed to wear clothes. I would always opt for these two buttons. I would unbutton the top and the bottom button. But again, like I was saying, if it all of a sudden becomes super warm in the afternoon and you start to sweat, there's not going to be a whole lot you can do with the pea coat, short of just taking it off. But now you're pretty much forced to just carry it around. And if it's a heavyweight pea coat like this, this is quite a bit to carry around. Now on to some jackets that are going to work for you in this early spring season. First thing is going to be your winter parka jacket. Why the winter parka jacket and not the pea coat? Well, remember like I was just saying, the pea coat you can't wear open, you always have to wear it closed. Well check it out, the parka you could definitely wear it closed if it gets a bit cooler, but if it starts to get super warm, boom, no problem. It totally looks a lot more appropriate to wear this jacket or a parka jacket or any winter jacket open like this. It's going to be nice and airy and you'd actually be amazed at how warm of a temperature you could actually wear a warm winter parka jacket in. Another pro about that parka jacket is going to be most of them are going to be in a water resistant material. You've also got a hood and most parkas, classic parkas, are going to have a hood like this. If it's a nice warm morning, you can wear it like this. No problem. You're not going to overheat. But if all of a sudden it gets cold and rainy in the late afternoon, early evening, Boom, there you go, you're covered. Now you're warm, you're gonna stay dry, and also you're gonna stay stylish. So I actually rely on this parka jacket quite a bit in early spring, just because I find it's so easy to wear when it gets a bit warmer, because you can wear it open. But since it is a winter jacket after all, it's so easy to wear when the temperature takes a dip in the wrong direction. All right, medium weight jackets, you're looking at field jackets, you're looking at quilted jackets, you're looking at jackets that aren't going to be as warm as that parka jacket we are just talking about, but you're also looking for jackets that are gonna be quite a bit warmer than just like a rain shell or a super thin windbreaker that pretty much just keeps you warm on a summer day. Now this is my pick from Banana Republic. This is their Loma quilted jacket in black. Now if you do go with the jacket like this that does not have a hood, you're going to have to remember to bring a small umbrella and or a beanie or some sort of head covering in case it gets too cold. But with a medium weight jacket, you basically want something to cover as much of the temperature range as possible. So for this jacket, I can wear this jacket into the high 60s and even in the 70s sometimes without getting too hot but this jacket can also take me down to like the low 40s even the high 30s which is absolutely a great range so this is going to be your jacket that you're going to be wearing most of the time in this weather especially as the season goes on from fall spring into actual spring and we get more milder and milder temperatures. Now there are also other styles like this one in navy blue. This is from Banana Republic a couple of years ago. They no longer make this one. This one's going to be the lightest weight jacket that I actually own right now. It's lighter than the quilt that I just showed you, but you could see it's still got that four pocket style. It has a zip away hood, which I don't really tend to use at all, but this is going to be a bit more breathable since this is more of a lighter weight jacket and this is really going to be a little bit more appropriate for mid to late spring, not that early fall spring that we're talking about here. Now other options include lightweight jackets like these from L.L. Bean. This is just their Prima Loft Packaway jackets. These things pack some serious warmth and they pack up almost into nothing. My personal favorite is the navy blue exterior with the orange on the inside, just adds a bit more fun to it. But if you're not sure, I would say definitely just go with all black. This is going to work with almost everyone's wardrobe. And now these jackets are super lightweight, super easy to warm. They are going to to have some water resistance built into them usually. However, they're not really designed to be worn for more than a few minutes in the rain. That's what a waterproof shell is for. Here you can see I've just got the black one. It's super easy, it's super lightweight, but it is super warm. A mid-weight layer like this can take any lightweight jacket and turn it into a heavyweight jacket. So it's really up to you if you want to just go with a lightweight jacket so you don't have that added bulk of wearing a parka jacket like we showed you before. But if you also want that warmth of the parka jacket, layering is definitely going to be an awesome option. Now before we wrap this video up, one more bonus tip, and this is something that I know from personal experience, always dress as if it is colder out than you think it is. 
I don't know if I'm saying this properly, but if you check the weather, let's say, and it says it's gonna be in the 50s and 60s, and you think, great, I could just throw on a jacket like this and I'm covered, not so fast. Many times I've done this and I go out with just a jacket like this, no hat, no gloves, no scarf, only to be freezing my behind off a couple of hours later. So when you're going out, especially in early spring, mid to late spring, you don't have to worry about this too much. I would always recommend carrying more layers or dressing warmer than you think you'll need to. Worst case scenario, if your jacket's too heavy, you could always take that jacket off, right? You could always take that hat off. If you carry a backpack like I do, you could always put your extra layers in that backpack. But if you just go out with a super lightweight jacket because it's nice and the sun's shining and it says it's gonna be 50 degrees all day, and you do get cold, your only option is gonna be just stand there like this and either wait for the bus or you gotta call an Uber to come get you and spend more money than if you just bought a heavier weight jacket in the first place. So spring is here. Well, it will be here soon. We're pretty much in fall, spring or early spring, whichever you wanna call it. Just a couple more weeks, we'll be able to go out and enjoy the warm weather. And if you follow these tips, you're gonna be staying warm, dry, comfortable, super stylish, and you're gonna be looking and feeling amazing, as I always say. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, or at least consider doing those four things. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.